Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cynthia. Um, if you're not, thanks for stopping by. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. As you can tell by today's title, we are going to be doing the ever so requested skincare routine. Now let me tell you, the, my skincare routine has been one of the most asked questions on my Instagram for so long. Um, I don't think I've ever really made a full video on it like i am going to be doing today i think i've talked about it every here here and there on my instagram i've posted a few pictures and i've also talked about it a little bit on my live but nothing like this of course i think i'm just going to explain things as i go so first things first um i'm going to go and take off these lashes and also if you can tell this makeup right here is also on my instagram i did make a, a youtube and an instagram video for you guys so if you guys want to check it out a link will always be in the bio now of course i'm not in my restroom this would have been a lot easier if i was in my bathroom that way i could just show you guys but that's okay i'm just gonna run back and forth so i can show you guys first thing i'm always first thing i always start off with is i always tie my hair up I hate washing my face or anything for that matter if my hair is not out of my face I can't <laughs> so I'm just gonna tie this up real quick okay why not that's fine all right so that's as good as it's gonna get um, so the first things first, I always start with my lashes I just, as I just removed. Now before I cleanse my skin, I do go ahead and first remove my eye makeup. Um, and what I use for that is I use my oil-free makeup remover by Neutrogena along with some cotton rounds. I'm going to go ahead and just dampen these up. So this is what it looks like. You can tell there's a little bit of product there. So what I first do is I soak in all the product. And then I lay it on top of my eye. I press down for a few seconds just everywhere first. And I gently um, remove makeup. I try to just do this in one swipe because I don't want to keep tugging and tugging and tugging. And you could tell with just one swipe it took off a lot of it. And then with the same little thing I'm going to go ahead and remove my eyebrows. Don't worry if it's not all the way off yet, that's fine. Right now, all you want to focus on is just taking off that eyeshadow. I'm going to do the other eye now. Again, laying it on top of my eye now. And then slowly start to move away. Slowly start to just remove the shadow. Okay. And as you can tell, it removes most of it, like the eyeshadow and then the eyebrows. As far as my eyebrows go, whenever I clean them, I just clean in one direction because I don't want to be going back and forth, back and forth because like the, the brow hairs will fall off if you irritate it going back and forth. So I just do one direction as well and just, you know, slowly take off everything. Same thing goes for the liquid lipstick. I am going to remove it with a cotton round and a little bit of the remover since it is liquid lipstick it's going to be harder to remove with just the cleanser so i like to take it off prior to cleansing my face and this cleans it off so well now that we've taken off the main makeup the eyes and the lips i'm going to go ahead and move on to cleanser this is the neutrogena foaming cleanser um fresh foaming cleanser sorry but anyways i've been loving this i've been using it for quite some time this is like my second or third bottle now but anyways i really do recommend this for anyone who has really sensitive skin um it just overall it removes a lot of impurities and this has been my go-to for so long now so I'm going to go ahead and run to the bathroom now and I'm going to use my cleanser and I'm going to try to take off all of this, which is basically the skin, as best as I can and I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the next step. Alright guys, so I am back. My skin is literally drenched right now. That is what my skin looks like after I cleanse my skin. Of course, there's still a bunch of residue under my eyes. That's the liner and mascara and whatnot. 
but that is where these come in handy these are the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes now I'll use this specifically for the eye area I'm just gonna get a clean one I need to buy more those are like almost right now I'm gonna get a clean towelette now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just remove any um, eye makeup that I have left and I'm gonna be really gentle with this part because we don't want to tug too much Something I do to clean my lashes is just like how I apply mascara, I do the same kind of thing with um, the towelette. I go ahead and just tug it upward. So I'm going to go ahead and just get really good in there to clean off all the liner. Just don't poke yourself. <laughs> and now the other one. Just going to run it over one last time. Underneath, underneath, on top. Okay. Alright, so that is what we were able to get off with the wipey. It was just the excess liner. Now, the next step is actually one of my favorite steps because I freaking love this next product. I don't know why I had never used it before or how I never found it, but I think this has been the thing that has made the biggest difference in my skin routine. This is the Cleansing Apple Cider Clay Mask Scrub. This is what it looks like. It smells so good, guys. It smells really, really, really good. Um, the best way I can describe this, it is a toner within a scrub. Now, I know this is kind of funny, but this works so good. This is already my second bottle. I just recently started getting these like two months ago, I want to say. But they're just that good that I use them all the time. No matter if I'm just washing my face or if I'm in the shower, I'll just you know apply some as well I just really really like this stuff I do recommend it um, it is the best and this is what it looks like also I'm gonna apply it with you guys so this is what it looks like now it does have tiny beads I don't know if you guys can see but they are very very tiny they're very very subtle so if you do you do use this on an everyday basis or even if you just use this like once or twice a day I'm sorry, once or twice a week um that's fine it's not gonna like over exfoliate your skin it's very gentle on the skin which is what i love i've tried other scrubs and you know you really can't use them more than twice a week because they can really damage your skin but this one is a complete opposite it is just it is just that gentle that you can definitely just get away with it but anyways i'm gonna show you guys really quick before i run to the bathroom again so this is what i typically do And it feels so relaxing like it feels really really good i'm sure you guys could probably hear it <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna just go ahead and work this and what this is gonna do it's gonna leave your, your skin extra clean because not only are you just cleansing but you're also you know removing all that dead skin cells too oh it feels so good and i focus it a lot on my nose because that's where i tend to get the little white heads and on my chin too and also right here on my chin because for some reason i have had breakouts on my chin and this has really helped me um, get rid of some i'm gonna go ahead now just rinse this off and i'll be right back all right and this is what my skin looks like after i applied that scrub you will notice right away after you wash off that cleanser the cleansing scrub your skin feels super 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 soft because of course it removes all those dead skin cells so you notice a big difference <laughs> right away now that we're done with cleansing we're going to move on to toners these are the two toners that i love so one of them is this one this is the lancome tonique comfort toner now this has rose essence and this is a rehydrating toner with um acai i'm not sure to say it honey it has some kind of honey but this is specifically for dry skin i guess i should have mentioned my skin type at the beginning of the video my skin is very dry although on camera sometimes it looks like really dewy it's not it does get really really dry if i don't put any kind of lotion on so that's my skin type and this has really been helping me um you know obviously keeping my skin hydrated as well as toning it in the process 
The other product that I really, really like is this one. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Correction Pads. This is also just like a toner, but this is more focused like towards acne. Um, if you have occasional breakouts, you can use this. This has 2% silic acid and 10% glycolic acid. If I remember correctly, the silic acid is a good for... It'll reduce the number of skin cells within the pores. Essentially what that means is just going to prevent pores from forming. Um, the other thing that it has is also glycolic acid. Now glycolic acid, so glycolic acid is basically the holy grail of exfoliation. Um, it efficiently removes the outermost layer dead skin cells of your complexion, revealing brighter, fresher skin. Um, it also is good with scarring, discoloration, and wrinkles. So this alone, this works really, really good if you have really troubled skin. Or even if you just want to, you know, take preventative measures, you can just always apply it in certain areas that you're struggling with. That's the only reason I use it. I have occasional breakouts right here and right here. It's never on my forehead, never really right here. But I do apply this whenever I'm having like the time of the month. Sometimes I'll have a lot of breakouts on my cheeks. So I'll only use this occasionally whenever my skin is really like I need it bad. Now today I'm not going to use it only because my skin has actually been doing really good lately. I'm just going to use my regular um, toner. This has the Rose Essence. Now if you didn't know, Rose Essence is really good for your skin, especially if you have dry skin. It is very, very hydrating and calming. That is why I love this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take one cotton round and I'm going to go ahead and dampen it with my toner. I typically just go ahead and just dot the product all over my skin first and then after I go ahead and just work in the toner in. I think applying toner to your skin is so important because not only will it um, even now your skin it also cleans out any residue any kind of impurities that you thought you took off because trust me it will come out let me show you. Can you look at all that? And I had already washed, cleansed, and scrubbed my skin. Like, toner is very, I love it. It just, it's so satisfying to see after what comes out when you thought you were really done. Now that we're done with the toner, we're gonna move on to um, hydration. In this case, lotions, serums, all that good stuff. So I use three things. I know it's a lot, but. Again, my skin is really dry. So I'll typically always go in with this. This is the Julep Boost Your Radiance Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil. I've tried many oils before. Like I've tried the Maracuja oil. I've tried this other Argan oil. But for some reason, I feel like they didn't work. They don't work as good as this one does. The other ones just tend to sit on top of my skin. But this seems to just really really seep into my skin and hydrate my skin from within and the whole thing with this is it does give you a radiance which i do see it and you guys will see in a second too so i love this one next item that i use is also the murad retinol youth serum and this is what it looks like this is so freaking expensive guys so i try to be very like careful with how much i use of it and where i use it and whatnot I'll typically use this around my eye area because of course it has a retinol and if you don't know what retinol is let me just let you guys know because it does wonders for your skin so retinol <clears throat> retinol decreases fine lines even skin color improves textures tightens pores stimulates blood flow and collagen production so it's like a youth serum, I would say. <laughs> you could basically call it that. So I'll typically apply this all around my cheek right here. And of course my eyes as well. And then last, the last item I use is this one right here. This is like my everyday moisturizer. This is by Garnier. I've talked about this before in my other videos. This is just my regular everyday moisturizer. I'll use this at night. I'll use this in the morning before makeup. It's just a, any regular moisturizer. What I love about this is that it's a gel. Um, a gel moisturizer, a gel cream moisturizer. So it's very cooling on the skin and it's very refreshing. This reminds me a lot of the Clinique, um, I think it's syringe or something like that, but it reminds me just like it. It's basically a dupe for that and it works just as well. So let me just show you guys what I do first. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Murad one first 
And again, I use it around my eyes. Over here. All right. And now with my ring fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and take this all around my eye area and my eyes as well. And just work all of this. It's basically like a eye cream, you could say, because I just focus this on my eye area. It's the part where I really want my skin to be tighter and firm and no wrinkles. We don't want none of that. So I'll apply it there. Once I have that there, I'll just drag whatever's left over down onto my skin and of course my forehead but most of it is just focused right here now the next thing is my rose hip oil i love this one i use this i never skip this step what i love about this too is that it smells amazing it smells like trees my boyfriend always tells me that he's like you smell like oregon which really that's what it reminds me of oregon but anyways, now that I went ahead and applied it, I'm just going to go ahead and work this into my skin. And this I'm going to work into all of my skin. So, everywhere. My chin. My forehead. And it just leaves my skin glowy, dewy. And then whatever I have left, I'll drag it onto my neck. I know it looks like a lot right now, but this does seep into your skin and this does eventually dry down right now. It's just, I just put it on, so of course. And then anyways, the last product is this, but I'm not going to use it because I have all of this already, so that's fine. But yeah, guys, that is it for my skin routine. This is everything that works for me. I love everything I use. I highly recommend all these products if your skin is like mine, as I explained. Um, you will really like all of this. If you guys have any questions, concerns, always feel free to DM me or even just comment down below. I always try to get back to your messages and all the DMs and comments. So feel free to talk to me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. And I hope I answered you guys' questions. You guys always seem to ask me every time. So here it is. This is my skin routine. Um, but yeah, my skin feels so good right now, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go and just start editing now because I have two videos to edit. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.